In this video, we'll be generating displacement textures within After Effects that you can use to distort the camera in Spark AR Studio. I've been through my house and I have taken 25 of the most boring photos you may ever see. But the things that I were looking for were contrast, texture, and line. Especially these sorts of things, these sorts of lines. And anything where I can get some really strong contrast. But yeah, these, this was just a very quick walk through just to see what I could get. And over in After Effects, I'll just, in my project panel, double click. And find my 25 images, select all and make sure I tick import JPEG sequence and then open that. And this is my composition that's been created. If I go command or control K, bring up my composition settings, you can see it is absolutely massive. I'm gonna resize that to 1024 by 1024. Uh, I've got this set up at 25 frames and it's gonna run for 25 frames. It doesn't really matter because I'm gonna put them out. But yeah, you can use that if you want. Uh, now I've resized that, so I click on my layer and press S for scale. I'm going to scale that down. So you don't need to have After Effects to do this. You can do this in um, Photoshop. I'm basically I'm just treating the images to have high contrast and be black and white. So I'm going to add two effects to my layer to so make sure my layer is selected over here in Effects and Presets. Right hue and double click hue saturation, and then also write levels and then double click on the levels. And what I want to do is I want to, in the hue saturation, I want to drag my saturation down to completely desaturate the image. And in the levels, I just want to really crank these up just to get this really high contrast. I'm gonna zoom in so we can see what's going on. And I'll just flick through here because all these images are all over the place, so just looking for that general treatment that works with across them all. That looks pretty good. I guess so, I'm quite happy with that. Now, I just need to make sure my comp is selected. And then I go to composition. Go to composition, add to render queue. In the settings here, I have best settings for the render settings and then click on lossless and I want to choose under format, I want to choose a JPEG sequence. And just because you've got that 40 meg, 40 meg limit in Spark, I want to make sure that I'm not bringing in a ridiculous quality. So let's go with, uh, let's go with seven. And this is here, you could potentially resize them to 512 if you wanted, but I'm just going to leave them at 1024 for, for now. And okay that, I'll just choose, let's just call it distort. So each image is going to be called distort. I'm going to save it in a subfolder called distort and save that and then render them out. Over into Spark now and I'll come down here to add asset animation sequence. I'll just call that distort. And up here under texture, I'll choose new image texture. I'll just select all those JPEGs. Let them import in. They will take a little second. I will just click on those straight away and then just click no compression just to stop them recompressing for now. And then I'll come up into my camera and choose texture extraction. And then I want to add object and I'll add a rectangle. Insert. And I want to make that, so fill the width and fill the height. And let's chuck a material on it. Now let's bring up the patch editor, the view patch editor. And what we want is we want our camera texture, drag that in. And we want to go add asset, import from AR library. And we want to just search for distort. And let's add in the texture distortion patch, import. And then We'll just grab that and drag it in. And just for now, we'll feed our camera texture into there, into the texture. And now let's grab our distort animation sequence 
and let's also drag that into the distortion texture. And then on our material, which is on our rectangle up here, come up here to the texture, click the arrow to create a patch, and we want to drag the output into there. And there we have, that's a bit crazy though. So click on the distort animation sequence and we can drop this frame rate. We can try 12 or even four. It really depends on the sort of look that you're after. Let's just go for 12 just for now. Now, one last other thing I want to add in. I want to add another patch. Add asset, import from AR library, patches. Let's just go view all. And the patch I want to add is the tritone. Tritone color. Let's import that. That's down here. Let's drag that across. Now I just want to add that in in between these two. So grab my camera texture and feed it into there and then out into the texture distortion shader. And there we have it. So you can tweak those colors to however you like. You can change them however you see fit. That's how to generate a displacement map within After Effects and use that to displace the camera texture in Spark AR Studio. Uh, I will provide these uh, project files if you want to have a look or if you want to use the displacement textures that are created. All right, good times.